hot uh, 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 crowd uh, when it comes to judo. And this is our first fight then, the men's plus 100 kilograms. It's preliminary matches that are being fought first off. And first of all, we have William Montero of Venezuela against Hamze Nadri of the Islamic Republic of Iran. These, these are our first fights in the heavyweight category. These are the heavyweights, uh, I can tell you. And, well, we have three classifications in, in Paralympic Judo, and uh, it's for the visually impaired, and that's the disability, and it is all about um, the classifications all being together. Uh, every one of them, B1, B2 and B3, are all grouped in together into each of the weight categories. And the reason for that is that they wouldn't have enough fighters if they did it any other way, if they split them into the B1, B2, B3. I'll explain a little bit more about the classifications as we carry on. And uh, I can tell you now that uh, William Montero is a B1 classification, and the B1 classification is um, complete blindness and it's indicated by a red circle on the judogi. B2, B3s, generally no light perception in either eye and, well, low visibility, low usable vision is the way they explain B2, B3. Uh, no light perception at all for B1, so completely blind, but uh, as you can see, each of the fighters being led out into the middle of the mat. And the difference, uh, there's some differences to the start of the contest because they bring them together, they grip them up, they have to start off gripped up, and that means that then the line judges, who are normally not allowed on the mat, they're off, uh, they're behind the tables and operating the video uh, replay system, but in this case they are on the corners of the matted area. They escort them off, they escort them uh, on to the area. The referee, it's their job to make sure that they're gripped up in a satisfactory way and well it gets a little bit technical and I'll point that out as we carry on through the day but uh, it does get a little bit technical because it's all about gripping in judo and a lot of the techniques come from the grips that we have so you have a comfortable grip one that you can throw off and then you're straight away into the action so as you may called and we're into our first match then of this third day of competition. The heavyweights plus 100 kilograms, Montero is in white and Nadri of Iran is in blue. Main aim to throw our opponents flat on their back with force, hold them on their back for 20 seconds, we'll get a nip on as well. Arm lock or strangle for a submission. Three different ways on the ground to win, but it all starts from a standing position. Well, they have to attack, they're gripped up, they have about, well, 30 to 40 seconds time period that they've got to attack in, and if they don't attack within that allotted uh, time, then they can get penalties, and we get a Shido, which will go on the board, it'll be a, ye a little yellow flag that will go up onto your board there, four of those, and it's disqualification on Sokamaki, so they don't want to accumulate, accumulate any of those if they can help it. I'll point that out as well as we carry on. So now, Nadri trying his best to get the overhand grip. Fifth place in London. Nadri just lost for third place. Changing from left to right as well, which is interesting, Nadri. Really isn't the preference left or right. That's going to be a score. Yuko scored and takes him over there. A nice Uchimata Nadri right the way up the middle with the leg and has to get the balance 
central, as central as he can anyway, and he took his opponent over flat, well, on his side. So any part of the upper body side that uh, makes contact with the mat, that's a Yuko scored. If you roll them up to their shoulders, it's it was Ari, and if you throw them with force onto their back, it's an Ipon. Three main scores that you need to look out for. Furry shouting Jogai as they just go towards the edge of the area. Gives them time to turn back in towards the center of the yellow matted area. Listen out for the Joe guy. So as they approach, gives them time just to readjust, pull back to the middle. Now, Otero has to do something. He needs to score back. Five minute contest for the men, four for the ladies. And that's going to be a score. Is that going to be an Ipon? Yes, it is. Osodagari and drives his opponent onto his back there, cleanly onto his back as well. Well, he latched onto the leg, drove off the back leg. So, Ipon to Nadri, he'll go through. First fighters that we're seeing here at Hamilton to fight in the last 16, the round of 16, should I say. So take it through to the quarterfinals. Have a look how he throws the leg up the middle. This was the Yuko. See how he lands on the side. And this is the Oso to Gary there, just latches onto the leg there, drives off the back leg, takes his opponent flat on his back. So two really good examples there where we could see the scoring. Great control of the upper part of the body as well, Nadri. What a great start for him. <laughs> 